Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome back to Black Coffee Gardener. Um, <laughs> I have I have not been a, a great gardener this year. As you can see, the flower bed is completely overtaken by weeds and just overgrown flowers. And you can't even see my little welcome sign anymore. I have um, an elephant ear over here that has died back. It, it should have been cut back, um, you know, when I cut back this one over here. It's, it's been a lot going on. Um, look how huge this thing. And of, of course, I mean, you can probably tell in comparison to the marigolds or the cover that I have over here on these greens. But these leaves are so massive. I had no idea that they were going to get this huge. Um, for those of you that watched when I planted these in the beginning of the season, that was the smallest bulb that I had. And these over here grew much better than, than the large bulb that I planted in the back. But we got the Italian peppers that are still here growing. There's so many Jimmy Nardellos on here. Um, just waiting for these to ripen. Um, I think there's, yeah, there are a few red ones are almost totally red, which I'll wait to get those off. But the Swiss chard I love because it, it just produces whether it's cold, whether it's hot, whether it's a heat wave, we, we've had Swiss chard forever. Um, and I just keep cutting that, you know, having it for breakfast with my eggs, um, dinner. So I'm gonna let these, these grow a little while before I cut any of those. But even at this stage, they're, they're so tender and juicy at, at, at this age, very buttery. Um, and yeah, that that's the smaller ones are usually what I'll cut back in, in half in the morning. But I'm just gonna leave these alone and, and let them grow um, into the fall months. As you can see, the the marigolds look beautiful. Something came and took a nap in here, and that whole area hasn't grown back since. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but anyhow, uh, I transplanted some spinach out here this is where i had the beans i pulled up the beans that were here these beans here are, are pretty much done i know there's one huge one back here that i left so that i can get seeds from it um oh and look at that i didn't even see that so i'll leave this one too just so i can get some seeds but for the most part these bush beans are done uh, the pineapple sage that i just i couldn't keep up with and it has gotten to the point where it's flowered. And it's such a beautiful, such a beautiful flower. Look at that. It's so pretty. And the, the camera, this thing doesn't do it any justice. I got my purple hole uh, peas over here, which I had started them growing up. Uh, the corn stalks that I, remember this whole area was filled with corn. I think I got, I think I got 12 ears of corn from this area over here. But the purple hole peas, um, you know, they had started up right in the middle of a heat wave and um, they just didn't produce produce anything. This whole, this whole stalk here has fell over, but it's tons of, of beans in here. I've already harvested and started my collection of the beans inside. Um, I don't think I have any ready to, to, to show y'all. This one, I'd rather wait till it gets a little more purple and then I take it inside, let it dry out and then split it open and collect the beans out of it, which um, for those of you that's never seen them, they look like, they look like black eyed peas except the eye is purple and they're, they're delicious. This, um, what is this here? The orange bell pepper. Now, another reason I haven't been able to get out here, I mean, it was just way too hot this summer. It was just so hot. So none of my peppers did anything. They're finally all starting to do something now. Um, 
between nature doing what it does and my body's internal temperature deciding to do a switch on me i just it's just so hard for me getting out here these um what are these scotch bonnet peppers is it looking good um finally and like i said it, it was just it was so hot out here nothing produced now everything is on on overdrive so i did get um like i said this whole area here was all corn i did get corn i got tons and tons of, i had the uh, cucumber plant over here after the cucumber plant was done there was a squash plant beside it so i did get some yellow squash um but i pulled all that i've uh, mixed some compost up in there because i've got uh, uh collard greens some baby uh, collard green seedlings in the house and once they're ready i'm gonna bring them out uh let's see the lemon balm and some mint here this is the spearmint here still doing a little something my poor little tomato plant <laughs> is looking crazy but then at the same time it's still producing this is the um this is the mexico midget so yes it's still producing i should probably this one just fell off i should probably take them and bring them in the, in the house and let them finish up in the house i'll probably do that after i started some deliquata squash in this uh container here and this container i started uh beets beets in here i had some dragon tongue beans in here which this whole thing has died back i got a decent amount of beans off of it but yeah this is that's pretty much the end of the end of this situation over here that apple uh mint that i had chopped all the way down came back these uh elephant ears just aren't happy and i don't know I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just a lack of rain i do need to get in here and, and um cut a few of these off of here but yeah they <laughs> oh they looking so sad all right over here in the herb garden my vietnamese coriander is still going good i had some um some uh uh caterpillars in here they ate this whole they ate this whole uh parsley leaf um, a parsley plant back it was down to nothing i mean to the point it had even turned brown i was like oh well that's that's the end of that but once the caterpillars were done and they went off to you know um set themselves up in their cocoons to get ready to turn into butterflies um this came back it came back so now i have i have parsley again my oregano here my hot and spicy oregano and my um this is, oh what's this one this one is the uh, yeah the italian oregano and then basil just everywhere my mint is going to flower thai basil still doing all right and i got some uh rosemary down here that's doing okay but that's about about it folks i just wanted to come in and do a really quick uh oh i'm, ooh, I'm down here oh i'm a child i'm out here getting tore up my god i thought i felt something i was like wow my my legs burning my goodness look at them my goodness y'all i had to run in the house i couldn't who child i couldn't even believe it <laughs> That's the end for this video. Anyhow, these are little baby seedlings I was talking about inside. These are my collard greens I got and my tot soy. Child, I looked down and those, ski they were, I had never seen nothing like that. It must have been a half a dozen uh, skeeters just surrounding my daggone legs. Oh my goodness. I can't, I just, I just can't.